All right, it is 626. Welcome back. Time for our pet of the week. Would you look at that sweet, beautiful oh, yes. face pose, right there? Hank. <laughs> Very nice. See, you knew the cameras were coming on. Exactly. You're like, Here's, Here's my right, time to shine. <laughs> Sydney with the SPCA here to tell us a little bit about Hank. Yes, thank you for having us. Hank is one year old, so still plenty of puppy energy. <laughs> <laughs> he is listed as a Siberian Husky Border Collie mix. Mm -hmm. So very interesting breeds. Um, they're both intelligent. He is very trainable. Um, but he is still learning some tricks. He's a puppy, he, yes. and he's been very, very curious around the studio, sniffing, exploring. So Definitely. this is the perfect dog, we were just saying, for Tahoe. Yeah. Any outdoor people out there. Total adventure pup right here. He is very active. He does wonderful with other dogs. He's actually oh. our resident fence runner. <laughs> so he does great. He would benefit from another furry friend in the home. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Playmate. Someone uh, exactly. to keep him in engaged and entertained because as you said, those two breeds certainly very, very intelligent. Absolutely. Now, you know, we were chatting, and I'm very surprised. You guys have had him for about two months now. Yeah. Look at this face. How can you say no to this face? Unfortunately, he hasn't gotten much interest. We're not too sure why. Oh. I mean, he's wonderful. He does have the higher energy, mm -hmm. but once you... um take him on a walk he calms down really well yeah and definitely if you had another dog to run some crazies out huh I think he <laughs> would do great and he's really handsome too yes. like he's got these mono or heterochromia eyes mm -hmm. if you can zoom in here and I love the the dipped feet too very very beautiful dog just yes. just a good looking he animal. would make a wonderful companion so I'm really hoping someone comes and scoops yeah. him up and you certainly know it don't you hey yes, big yon big yon oh, I know it's That's early, good. and we appreciate yes. you setting up. He now, one thing you did to. want to talk about, too, you know, the shelters have been so crammed lately. Everywhere you go, so many animals. A uh, World Spade Day is coming up, and yes. it's su such an important message. Absolutely. So next Tuesday, the 27th, is World Spay Day, and it's, you know, a great opportunity to highlight the importance of spaying and neutering mm -hmm. your pets. As you mentioned, the homeless pet population continues to increase, and unfortunately, you know, our adoption center and other rural partners that we mm -hmm. um, rescue from are <laughs> struggling with continuing to be at capacity. Yeah, so, so it's really, it's our responsibility to fix these pets. Um, it has many benefits, cost, health benefits, um, behavior benefits too. Mm -hmm. um, but we just recommend doing your research, consult with your veterinarian. Yeah. Um, a but, simple step to take to help, you know, just the community overall. Exactly, yes. All right. Well, if you are interested in Hank, and I sure hope someone is, because I swear this is just a really, really wonderful pup. He's available at the SPCA starting at noon today. Sydney, thanks so much Thank for being here. Thank you so here. much for having us, Rebecca. Hank, you did Say that. Bye, Say bye, buddy. Bye -bye. Say I'll see you later, right? It's like, wait, there's a toy. I know. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? <laughs>